What's up guys, this is Chris from FXON and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make a simple particle summer chill sort of vibe uh, intro. I know it's a bit late for a summer intro but you can use it for different sort of things or you can use it for next summer. Okay so let's get started. First off create a new comp, let's name this main. Uh, you can use uh, 20, uh, you can use 30 frames per second or you can use 24 frames per second. I'm gonna go with, let's just go with 25 and 10 seconds and click OK. First off, create a new solid, Ctrl Y on your keyboard. Let's name this BG and I'm gonna use this color. Okay, you can choose different color for background but I suggest using something white. Okay, so now we need another solid. I'm gonna name this Faded and I'm using this color right here. You can use whatever color you like and basically what is this gonna be? Uh, it's gonna be like a little faded area. Like, I'm just gonna quickly show you how it's looking. Okay, so as you can see here I have added this faded sort of like circle. Um, I, I changed the, I added mask and changed its settings. As you can see it's faded. So just pick whatever colors you like and I'm gonna put every in single corner. So just, I mean you don't have to necessarily do it but I kinda like how it looks. So I'll be back when I'm done with that. Okay so I added one in every single corner, each in different colors. Pretty much everyone, I think every one of these, yeah they're using the same settings. So just a different location. So just put in whatever position you want them to be. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to next thing. Another new solid, let's name this um, particle. Yeah, particle and black. Okay, now let's search for CC uh, particle world, drag that on. And now the fun things begin. So producer, let's set the radius x, y, and z to 0, 0, and 0. Okay, and now let's set the keyframes for positions. And the position x will be minus 0.35, y will be 0.12, and z will be uh, minus 0.11. So now I'm going to quickly explain what I'm trying to get here. Um, okay, so here I created a quick drawing of what I want to make. I know it doesn't look very much, so let's just pretend like, uh, like I don't know, this is like the frame. <laughs> Pretty bad at drawing. Okay, um, like this is the frame. Okay, so here comes the particles and I want it to go like that, sort of like this sort of angle. Okay, and then from the other side particle comes, it goes under the, uh, it goes under right here and then it meets here. And from the top, another particle comes, crosses over here, then again over here and meets in here. And then the same thing from here uh, goes under here, under here, and then meets together here and then they just move forward. Uh, so I'm just gonna put keyframes like in each position and I'm not gonna like try to do it manually because I already have all the keyframes I need and uh, yeah so just I, I'm gonna go for this I'm not gonna try anything else I'm just gonna go for the same exact uh, effect that I did in preview so just follow what I do with the keyframes and you should be good okay now let's open physics, animation, explosive, direction axis. Let's change velocity to 0.71 and uh, inherit velocity to minus 0.67. Oops, sorry, to minus 60. So, okay, let's go with 69. And gravity to zero. Extra to 0.33 and extra angle set that to one direction axis, axis y to 0.485 and that's good. Now let's go into particle, particle type, 
to try polygon. Uh, birth size 0, death size point 16. Size variation 53 and max opacity 71. Okay, so birth color to this and death color to this. Oh, another thing, let's go to particles, press U on your keyboard, select these particles, move them forward until you can see some particles going on down there. Like, I don't know, I'm going to move it about this far. And then simply drag out this. So that when you start, you can, at the start of the timeline, you can already see particles going. So that's what we need. Okay, so from here on now, what I'm going to do is we will only need the particle area opened and this open. So now I'm just going to simply duplicate this one and go to particles and we're going to change colors. And this is going to be the time that, like I said before, we're just going to change the positions. And I'm, I'm just going to like put the keyframes where I did put them and that's all okay like because it, it did kind of take some time to get it right and I, I really want to make this a quick simple tutorial so just follow through uh, change these settings right here and uh, colors you can pretty much change to whatever colors you like just yeah okay now back uh, no duplicate one more time and another time press both you and your keyboard Okay, now for uh, this one, particle, the birth color is this, and death color is this. Now move to the top one, particle, birth color, this, oops, this, and, and death color is this. Okay, and now we have all of them opened up and also what I want to do is select all of them, right click or you can just click F9, easy ease. Okay, okay so for now I'm going to focus on the bottom two particles, so this and this one. So position X for this is minus 18 and here is 0 0.08, I'm sorry it's 0.18 move forward to about like here and let's set this to position x to minus 0.11 and this to 0 0.06 now again a bit forward to about like here we're going to set the x to minus 0 0.04 and this to 0.11 now again forward to about 3 seconds and 15 frames and here we set for both position X and Y to 0, 0, 0, 0. Now let's move again forward to 5 second mark and we're going to set the X here to minus 0 0.03 and Z minus 1.12 and the same for the this one except the bottom will be -1.07 so uh so minus 0 0.03 and minus 1.07 okay now let's move again forward to 520 and let's set the opacity so press T on your keyboard T on your keyboard Set opacity both. Again, easy ease. Right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. And to six second mark, drop the opacity to zero for both. Okay, now if I go through. Okay, so something here goes wrong, as you can see. Just like it goes good, but then it just like snaps at this position, and I want it to go under each. This goes above and this goes under. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, so you can see here it snaps at this point. 
it just like here it pretty much snaps and I think it happens the same yeah it kind of kind of does happen the same here so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to fix it so first of all I'm gonna go and try to fix it for the bottom one for this one okay so let's go to graph editor just gonna quickly try to smooth things out just gonna try to see like what happens um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try something like that. Okay, maybe, um, maybe like that. Let's see. Okay, let's see how that that works, and let's just change something here. Okay, so it sort of does the effect. What I want it to do. It's something like this. Let's see how it looks now. It goes, that goes under. Well, it, it is okay. It isn't perfect, but it seems okay. And now let's work with the other two at the top. So for now, I'm just going to switch these off. Let's start from the start for these two at the top. These ones will go at the top. Okay, so this one is going to be point 26. And Y is going to be minus point 12. And for this one, everything's cool except for the Y, and it's going to be minus 12, minus 0.12. Now let's move forward to here. And for this one, it's going to be minus 0 0.06. And for Y, it's minus 0.1. And for Z, it's minus 0.31. And so for this one, it's minus 0.03. And y is minus 0.13, and z is again minus 0.31. So let's move forward to here and change the x to minus 0.04. Now let's go forward to here and let's set the x and y to 0 and 0. Now let's move again forward and now for this one to 0 and 0. Now let's go to 5 second mark. Let's set this one to minus 0 0.02 and that's 0 and this one to minus 1.12 and do the exact same for this one minus 0 0.02 0 and minus 1.12 okay now let's turn all of them now actually I want to see how it looks. Okay, it goes good, good, good. And you can see again that snap right there. It goes good, but then it just snaps at this point. And yeah, it, it's pretty snappy. <laughs> okay, so we have to again fix that by going to graph. Let's pick this. Do a little arc. Let's try that also here. Let's see how it looks. It looks a, like um, the blue one doesn't look that bad, but the pinkish red kind of does. So I'm going to try to do it like this. Okay, now I'm going to move this one a bit to here. And let's see um, where is this one goes. Okay, I'm going to leave it at about like that. So they cross over twice. You see, they go there, they go there. Then I'm going to move. Oops, sorry. Um, then I'm going to move not so much back, maybe like. 
um, maybe like that far and I don't know I think I need like a new keyframe right here so I can actually no I'm gonna do go back to how it was so it goes to middle and I'm gonna add a keyframe right here so that way I can move it to do uh, to this side. Okay, so it goes pretty good. Again, crossover and good. Yeah, I like that. Maybe the top one needs a bit of motion. I mean the pinkish one. So I'm gonna try to do something there also. So another keyframe. Just like add some sort of motion to it. Not much, just a bit. Okay, let's see how does that look. It goes and it comes all together. I'm going to delete this. So it stays here and all of that goes into camera. That's what we need. So like I said it's not at all easy to do this. Gonna add a keyframe right here. So that way it stays in this position. I'm just gonna delete this one. So why it keeps moving away? Oh oops, I'm editing the wrong one right now. I need to edit this one. Okay, so something like that. I think that looks good. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna again turn this one off and turn back these ones. And again go uh, back into graph editor and I have to adjust them. Because they have the same problem with moving away. And I don't like that. there. Now turn this one back on and let's move it to like here. Okay. Now I'm gonna see uh, how it looks all together. Okay so what I don't like is that, that they are exactly the same shape at every single time as you can see here. Like they pretty much are exact same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out of graph editor and um, I'm gonna again work on only two and I'm gonna select all of these layers go in at start um, move this a bit forward and then pass them right back in right back in good so now that they're not exact same size and everything so now they're just random okay cool so those two are fixed and let's just like do the same thing for these ones so select them control x to just get rid of them and then just pass them in Okay, good. Good. Now, I'm going to select both and just extend. Good. So now that far we're good. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this into a two-part tutorial cuz this first part was pretty long so I will see you guys in the second part of the tutorial.